The Great Lakes have provided tremendous recreational and commercial fishing opportunities for centuries. Despite the benefit of the lakes, we've challenged it with pollution, with overfishing, and with a long list of aquatic nuisance species. Near the top of that list of aquatic nuisance species is the alewife. Originally a marine fish, it gained access to Lake Ontario through the Erie Canal and then moved into the upper Great Lakes. Initially, the alewife populations were controlled by lake trout predation. But the lake trout stocks collapsed as a result of overfishing and predation by the sea lamprey, yet another invader into the Great Lakes. Lacking predation by the lake trout, the alewife stocks ballooned to nuisance proportions. Since then, they've been blamed for the demise of every fish species in the Great Lakes. Is the alewife really the demon that it's accused of being? Well, yes and no. The alewife feeds on zooplankton, bottom-dwelling invertebrates, but very importantly, it eats larval fish and small fish up to about one inch long. The fish remains in deep water most of the year, but it moves shallow and up onto rock shoals to spawn in early summer. The lake trout appears to be one of the victims of the alewife. The lake trout move from deep water to rock shoals to spawn in early summer. The hatch of the young coincides with the alewife migration to shallow water, so the young fish are easy prey for the migrating alewife. The alewife appear to suppress the lake trout restoration efforts. The Emerald Shiner is the cornerstone of forage production in Lake Michigan, and it too appears to be a victim of alewife predation. The Emerald Shiner moves shallow to spawn in early summer. The larval fish coincide with the time and space with the movement of the alewives. So research supports that alewife adversely affect lake trout and emerald shiners. But what about the other long list of Lake Michigan species? Apparently not affected, not by alewife anyhow. That's important to know because restoring or conserving these fish means identifying what is causing their problems and then solving those problems. In the future, controlling the alewife is going to require very fine-tuned stocking of salmonids to simultaneously suppress the alewife, but without over-suppressing the other forage fishes in the lake. The more we know, the better we can manage our fisheries. That's good for the fish. That's good for the fishing.